Are you sure you don't want to be in my video? Yeah. What is that in your hand? Yeah. What has the other hand got? This oh, that's a xylophone. Let me hear how it sounds. That is a good toy. <laughs> Who is this? That is Diane Two Campers. Okay. Oh, my eyes it should. Oh, are you there? Hey, everybody. This is an update video for my diet because I haven't been doing my walking, and there's a reason for it. Um, uh, this was a bad week. First off, last weekend, uh, it's been a little over a week ago, so not literally today's Tuesday. It's not literally last weekend, weekend before. Um, my daughter and the boys went to visit family so they were gone all week and it was way depressing i wanted them here so bad i thought i was going to be like yeah i'm going to knock this shit out the park and i'm going to lose all this weight and i'm going to be all you know fit and trim and healthy feeling and energetic get the housework all done and throw away a bunch of shit didn't happen um i was depressed that they were gone and some other things happened which completely occupied my time and then I, it was it, it it was negative. It was really bad. And I'll do a video about that when I feel like I can. Um, so I didn't get any exercising done. Uh, you got to keep in mind that this is not really as much a diet for loss of weight as it is um, a diet to increase my energy so that I can be more active. And the end result of that will be a loss of weight. But my first focus, my main priority is just to eat healthier and get better energy. Once I'm there, the rest will fall where it needs to be and I'll lose the weight. So I pretty much haven't walked in just over a week. Haven't done my morning walking. But I am going to do them. I'm starting them again tomorrow morning. Um, Vegas Vixen asked me to kind of join with this whole weight loss thing. She's got a little group going on and I can't remember who she said was in the in the group that she's asked, but they're all doing a different type of a diet. And I told her I'm just going to do the vegetarian diet. I'm just going to I'm just going to eat vegetables and juice a lot and be real careful with my carbs and stuff. Just your general basic guideline stuff for your standard diet, I guess. So I checked my weight for the first time since no the second time since uh I quit my walking and haven't been as focused on my food intake and I've only gained a pound I've gained a pound back but rather than look at it and go well at least I only gained a pound I'm kicking myself and going in the length of time that I haven't been doing my walking which I really couldn't help for the majority of the time if you knew what was going on you'd understand why I could have lost three extra pounds in the length of time so I only gained a pound so I'm still under the 250 mark. I am under it. I am, as of today, I am under it. Tomorrow morning, I will start my on-camera weigh-in. As soon as I wake up, I am back on board with this. The sadness is over. The bad thing from last week is, is going to take time, but I'm going to get there. And uh, my family's back, so that, that helps me a lot. But I am under, I am, I am 248.2 as of this, no, I'm sorry, 248.5 as of this afternoon when I weighed myself. I waited too long. I was up for a couple hours for I weighed myself. And I'm a firm believer that your first weight of the day is your actual true weight. That is your actual true weight. Every dietitian, every physical fitness person I've ever spoken to has told me that. And I truly, firmly believe that. Uh, your muscle builds up during the day just walking around and doing your general standard shit that you do during the day and in doing so your muscle mass will increase which will increase the weight even if it's only by a pound or two and sometimes three depending on what you're into but I am um, 
I'm not upset about the one pound weight, like I say, gain, but that I could have lost two or three instead. I went one up rather than two or three back. That pisses me off, you know, and I've got nobody to blame but me. But like I say, if you knew what happened this past week, you'd understand. I'm going to try to do every little thing that I can in order to keep my cravings down. I don't like crave massive amounts of food. I crave flavors. And I want something sweet. Of course, you can't just have one little piece of candy. you got to have a whole damn candy bar. Um, I've gotten to where if I get to craving something sweet, I have these little candy bars, the little fun sizes. I have one. And I'm good. Or I will have a spoonful of icing, which is the worst of the worst, but I'm human and it's better than sitting there with an entire tub of fucking Ben and Jerry's and just eating it with a big wooden spoon. So one spoon of icing is great. I can I can hang with that. But slowly but surely I'm getting there and before you know it, when I'm craving something sweet, I'll have fruit instead. But I got up today, I did really good. I got up, I got my dishes done. Um I juiced a bunch, bunch, bunch of fucking carrots. <laughs> I was like, I've got this massive bag of carrots. I'm just going to go ahead and juice them fuckers down. So I juiced carrots and they were good. They weren't as good as I'm used to the carrots being, but I'm guessing they were a little bit bitter because they were out of season. I don't know what was going on with that. Maybe it was just a bad batch. Uh, we bought them at Walmart. First no-no right there. Carrots, you can't, eh, you can't. Um, Roma tomatoes, not a good idea, no. Uh, bananas, if you plan on eating them really fucking fast, you can get them from Walmart. Walmart has some of the worst pro produce I've ever seen, ever, hands down. Food Line has some of the best. And now that I'm here where there's uh, no Food Line, they've closed them all down, which I was shocked because I was planning on going back to work for Food Line like I did when I was here before. Years ago, I loved my job at food line before um when dixie's got good produce publix does but publix is pricey so when dixie's where we tend to go um they have a lot of good deals often like really often so if you go when they have the deals you have to look for the deals and um when they have good specials and coupons if you can get coupons which it's hard to find coupons in store for fresh stuff so you just kind of have to look for the good deals and the sales during the week. And sometimes they'll have the coupons because it's going out of date that day. So if you want to have it for dinner that night, you get a salad kit, there's your dinner. And they get like a dollar or dollar and a half off, which is really good on like a $3 kit. So I do that. You know, I'm really thrifty when it comes to the bargains. I don't coupon. I want to, but it seems like so much work, and I don't understand how the hell they're doing it. I don't understand how they calculate those coupons where they go, uh, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to have $120 worth of stuff, and I've got these 70 coupons, and when I'm done, it's going to cost me a dollar and eighty cent. I don't know. How would you, how do you do that? I don't understand. I've watched some of these videos of the chicks that do this, um, hardcore coupon and shit and I'm like okay they'll explain it but they're explaining it like they're telling someone who already does it and I'm like they've told me nothing I don't understand what they're doing you know they had to learn somehow who showed them so if anybody out there knows of a good video that can explain how this coupon and thing works that would be great because I cut coupons I've got stacks of coupons here 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 and and I've got the coupons I don't know how to make them work for me as far as to that extent where I'm going to walk out with two bucks out of my pocket, but $120 worth of stuff. But anyway, I'm rambling because this is a rambling one because, you know, I haven't really done a update update where I just sit and chit chat. Um, I may or may not do a live chit chat this week on this channel. And because I I had been, you know, I had been blocked a few months ago. What was it? Like 10 weeks ago, I think. Something like that. From doing live um, hangouts. But, you know, I because someone gave me a strike on my video, 
of Doug smacking me on my butt. So, uh, I refuted that, or what do you call it? What do you call it? I can't remember what the damn word is. What? I just had a complete brain fart. I wasn't listening. Um, anyway, I bitched at them about it, and they came back and said, nope, it's still no good. So I pitched at him again. I didn't hear anything. And then all of a sudden, I noticed my live feeds were available again. I could do them again. So I was happy, <laughs> to say the least. So they apparently looked at it and said, yeah, you know what? It's not that bad. You're good. You can live stream if you want. You don't got to wait six months. So um, I'm happy about that. So I will probably do a live thingy where I do... Uh, questions, answers, or just update everybody about things that have happened and things that are going to be happening. If you've heard anything and you want to ask me about it, that'd be fine. Uh, I want to do some morning hangouts for maybe two hours just to talk to people. I always say I'm going to do a two-hour hangout on Banger Chat. It ends up being six to eight hours anyway. Because it takes about an hour and a half to get going good. And then once you get going good and people are joining, um, you don't want to shut it down because everyone's having a nice conversation. So today is a carefree day, blah, blah, I'm going to do some kettlebells. And I'm really excited to be a part of this thing with Rory, Vegas Vixen, if she actually does it. Because she was going to do it before and she did the same thing as me. She fell off the wagon for a little bit and and didn't really do much on her diet. She has got to get on her game with this shit if she's going to be a support system. She's the one inviting me to this, so we got to do this. Something's wrong with my eyeball. I've been itching my eyeball, haven't I? Been itching my eyeball for two days. It's really been, well, mm -hmm. since Sunday. Today's Tuesday. Today it hasn't been as bad, so I actually was able to put on my best friend which is mascara, <laughs> um, shocking extensions, it's really not that shocking, nothing looks extended, but I had to, uh, that's the, this is really basically my go-to thing, because I don't have any eyelashes or eyebrows, because, because blonde, and my kids tell me that I have invisible eyebrows and invisible eyelashes, they're like, oh no, they're there, they're just invisible, so I, I have to use this or I don't have any eyelashes. I'm just waiting for my eyes to start itching really bad again and I'll just like, and it'll be everywhere. So, yeah. I'm going to get back on board, you know, tomorrow with, I'm back on board today. But as far as like my weigh-ins and keeping everybody updated, that'll be starting tomorrow. Um, and that you know that I have not been walking. I haven't. I'm not going to lie and say that I have. It's dumb. But why would I lie and say that I obviously have it because I haven't posted any videos but, like I say, I'll later do a video about what's been going on, and I just don't want to do it right now. I just, I'm just not feeling it, so I'm not going to. A couple of people know what's been going on, but not too many. Don't you dare open that. You better not pull that tab. You better not. Thanks for stopping by and listening to my shit. Hit the red button below and hang out with me some more, and everyone have an amazing day. Bye.